FFS2000 is a fusion splicing workstation which is capable of performing all steps of the splice process. Strip, cleave, clean, splice, recoat and proof test. This video will demonstrate how to clean stripped fibres using an FFS2000. It will also explain how to remove the coating debris generated at the stripping station. If you have not yet watched the video about stripping fibres using an FFS2000, click on the annotation or see the description below for a link to view this first. The thermomechanical stripping process should remove most of the fibre coating. But in some cases there may still be some debris attached to the fibre. This is no cause for concern as it will be removed by cleaning the fibre. The cleaning station has an ultrasonic container that can be filled with a solvent such as acetone or IPA. The container has a metal shield and screw-on lid to reduce the amount of solvent that evaporates. The solvent level should be about a quarter of an inch or half a centimetre below the top of the container. When the fibre has been stripped, move the fibre holding block from the stripping station to the cleaning station. Placing it in the dunking jig at the cleaning station will activate the vacuum. Tip the dunking jig so it is vertical. This will activate the ultrasonic bath and also cause the end of the fibre to be immersed in the solvent. Any coating remaining on the stripped fibre should be removed by the ultrasonic cleaning action. An indicator lamp lights up when the required time for cleaning has been reached. This time can be set using the GUI by selecting Fibre Preparation, Clean Time. Whilst the strip fibre is being cleaned, the coating debris at the stripping inserts can be removed and the stripping station cleaned down. If there is a big ball of coating, this can be removed using soft tipped tweezers. Then, using a hand behind the lid to prevent debris being flicked back towards the splice station, use the soft blue toothbrush provided with the unit to clean off the smaller particles of debris. Make sure that you thoroughly clean the area around both the lower and upper inserts, and also down the sides of the block too at the strip blades. Debris will fall down onto the top surface of the unit around the stripping block so make sure you brush down this area as well to ensure that the splicer is free of debris. It may be necessary to also clean the area around the strip inserts and blades using a cotton swab soaked in a solvent such as IPA or acetone to ensure all the debris is removed. Being vigilant and keeping this area scrupulously clean is one of the key factors in maintaining trouble-free and consistent operation of the workstation. During the time it takes to clean the coating debris from the stripping inserts and that area of the workstation, the stripped fibre should have completed its ultrasonic cleaning. Once the ultrasonic cleaning has completed, lower the dunking jig so that it is horizontal. This will remove the fibre from the solvent. Ideally, the fibre should then be moved from the cleaning station to the cleaving station. However, the fibre may be parked at the dunking jig as shown. In this position, only the back pin on the underside of the fibre holding block is in the dunking jig, so the vacuum is not activated. The next step of the fibre preparation is to cleave the cleaned fibre. 